this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a quick painting tutorial on this beautiful little stemless wine glass. It's a red wine glass. I'm going to try not to move it around too much because I just painted it. So I'm really good at sticking my fingers in my painting. So we'll try not to do that too much. So bear with me. Uh, today I'm going to be using a number 12 Royal Aqualon filbert brush, a number 12 flat brush, one stroke plaid brush, a quarter inch scruffy brush, also by plaid, one stroke brush, and then a Westonia fine liner, which is actually a fingernail brush. Paint will be magenta, happy green, Wicker White, Light Lavender, Thicket, and Moon Yellow. These are all folk art products. The only one that's not a multi-surface is the Thicket. Alright, I've already cleaned my glass, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And again, bear with me because I have a tendency to stick my fingers in my my painting so I'm just basically I'm not double loading or doing anything like that I'm sticking my brush into the magenta and combining it with some of the wicker white very easy stroke just going to flatten my brush and turn it alright I'm going to go back over this one again turn it alright and you can just Maybe get a few strokes out of this without putting any new paint on it. I do try to make mine as opaque as possible. So bear with me on that. If I think it's too thin, I'm going to paint it paint over it again. The more the more I shouldn't say that's not proper English. If you the thicker you paint it basically without painting it too thick to cause the paint to bubble when you you bake it um, the more durable your painting is going to be on the glass so just keep that in mind for those of you who, who always wonder when you have painted glass like this yes you can put it in the dishwasher will it last as long? Eh, maybe but you're going to get more longevity out of it if you hand wash it and you know really honestly when you're dealing with fine china or hand painted products you just need to take good care of them you know treat them treat, treat them as such and they'll be around for a long time and I've painted a lot of glassware for people and I know that they still serve their their friends and family with it it lasts because they take care of it it's just not that difficult to do. All right, so then what I'm going to do, scrape my brush off a little bit. I tend to get a lot of, a lot of paint in it. I am going to then go back over the flower with the light lavender. Yeah, trying to keep it from getting too. I don't want to pull the paint off, so I'm going to have to be very light with it. And I want it to be on here, but I don't necessarily want it to be like it's a one stroke kind of deal. Just see how pretty that is. And if you feel like you need to go around it more, you know, certainly do so. But I definitely want to make sure that it's that it's covered covered well. And I'm just basically doing the same stroke over it and pulling it in. Same stroke over it and pulling it in. And it is getting a little little light in the center there. I just gotta make sure that it's just not too too much because I don't want it to be. I guess that's a little awkward. I have something that I could be using right now, but uh, 
to hold my glass while I'm painting it. I might end up having to get it out with these. Alright, so if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. Hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. You know, I'm trying some different things out, so you might want to make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss out. I am trying very hard to grow my channel, so if you would, at the end of this video, give me a big thumbs up and share this with your friends and family on your social network. There's a real easy little button at the bottom of the video that will <clears throat> allow you to do that very easily. Alright, so I got that in. I'm going to go here. I like to do designs on the front and the back of my glass now. Very easy. You could just do it on the front and leave it at that and just paint paint leaves around it. But I'm just I'm going to go ahead and do it around both the front and the back. Very easy stroke too, and you can tell. I'm trying to get the paint on and off my brush here. And on like that. Now it is very important though that you do clean your glassware before you paint on it. See what I mean though as far as turning this and not getting my fingers on it. Oh well. You get the gist, right? Anybody that comes to my channel and watches me knows that I'm not the neatest person when it comes to painting. That's why I say I have this really neat contraption that I could be putting this glass in. It would make it a lot more easier to paint and not stick my fingers in it. But I have to dig it out. And it's something too where I'm not even sure it's made anymore. I don't like a lot of the stuff I use. I'll have it for a while and then pull it out. And then people ask me, well, where'd you get that at? I don't know. I don't remember. I've had it forever. Alright, so now we're going to go around it again. And you don't have to have your, your, uh, petals as straight laced as mine are. And you can do some turning and uh, making them ha show movement more than what I'm doing right now. But again, my videos, the point of them are to try to encourage people to paint. So I want to offer easy designs that will encourage you to do that. If I did something too difficult that might take people's interest away and like, oh that's nice, but I could never do that. And I don't want people to feel that way. I really don't. I just feel like I'm getting too thin right in here. Like I said, you can work with it if you feel like you're getting too thin in certain areas as you're turning it. But I like that. I think that's pretty. Very pretty. Okay, now I think what I'm going to do, well, what I did on my other ones, and I did stick my finger in that. Dag nabbit. I knew I would do that. So as I say in a lot of my videos, don't do as I do. <laughs> do better, please. All right. I'm going to stick my fine liner brush in, and I'm going to go around my flower like this. I love this brush. If you ever get a chance to get a fine liner like this with the, the long, long, long bristles on it. Very thin, but they're awesome to do this kind of work with. Now if I was to do it with a regular liner brush, I wouldn't be able to do it as well. Because I've always had a, had a hard time with that for some reason. 
All right, so we're going like this, pulling it out. All right, I'm gonna turn and do it to the next one. This might have been my first one. And it doesn't matter on this one what kind of center you allow. Like, I have more of an opening on that first one than I was doing this to. This one I really didn't leave any opening, but that's okay. Because you'll see what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter. And on some paintings it might, but on this it doesn't. And I am doing wet on wet. As you can see, I'm not giving any drying time. If you are somebody that you don't like the chance of your paints mixing or whatnot as you're painting, then I would say, by all means, give your glass some drying time or hit it with a dryer, a heat gun, whatever it is you have access to. All right, so now I'm just gonna do some simple wiggle, simple wiggle uh, petals for the leaves. It's very simple. And then I just like to try to make sure it goes through here right. I'm just doing two on each side, keeping it again very simple, doing them all the same way. Sometimes in my painting I will do a variety of, of leaves but do them in different directions where you know, some of them have the light on the outside, some of them have the dark on the inside, some of them have a little bit of each on each side. But with this one, I'm just going to do two on each side and leave it at that. Just makes it, the, the, you know, the working space that you have on this class isn't that much. So to try to put a bunch of stuff on it, I just think, Simple is probably better at this point. Less is more when it comes to this. Again, these are just the real easy. You just wiggle and pull. Do a couple strokes. And I like to, when I'm doing on glass, to try to get the opaque look is just make sure I have a lot of paint in my brush but then I can get too much paint on my brush and then I have to scrape it off. All right, so I'm gonna go around to the side, do the same thing. I should try to make sure I'm on my camera. And I'm sorry about my background noise. That is my, my air conditioning running. And then it kicks off. It's kind of hard to juggle all the noises that my house has. I babysit grandkids during the day, so that's hard. Can't definitely can't do videos during the day when they're here. Sounds like a circus. Between that and my dog. She's enough. She definitely has an attention issue. All right, so there we have it. Now, what I'm going to do here is take my little scruffy brush and then I'm going to tap in the center. This is why I say it doesn't matter like how much of a opening you have in the center because I'm, you're going to tap on it anyways and close that up just like that. Now, once again, you're going to be taking your your little paintbrush, a fine liner, and using that just to throw some yellow, which is the moon yellow, into the center. And I'm just going to pull these down like that. Pull them down, pull them down. You can go all the way around. You'll still see black. You'll see it. Now you could leave it like that. That looks cute too. But I'm going to try not to mess this up. Do it like this. And then do the same things around it. Just try to fill it in like that. Go back here. Do the same thing. 
put it in there. Let's put a pole. And that will be the center of your flower. Like I said, you can go you know, around it. Alright, and I think we're done. Oh shoot, no we're not. You guys should have told me I didn't do a... a <laughs> Christmas that I didn't do the leaves on the other side. What am I thinking? Getting so excited about getting done. I almost forgot. Now it's okay if they overlap. I don't know how I managed that on this, but I didn't do that on the other one. But it's okay if they overlap if they have to. Not a problem. Put more paint on here. a lot of times I'll do like some of the simple one stroke leaves as filler leaves and just keep painting you know so the whole glass is pretty much filled up once again I have a have an issue with leaves I'm a leaf addict addict all right let's finish this off I like that okay I think we really are done this time all right, so here we go. I think that's as cute as can be. Can you imagine serving your guests with cute little glasses, like for the holidays or if you're having a party? I used to do a lot of painting, you know, plastic plates even, reverse painting. I love it. I think it's so cute. What a cute little set. Makes a great gift, too. All right, that's all I have for today. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. And please again hit that share button underneath the video to share it on your social networks with your family and friends. Alright, until the next one, you have a good one. Talk to you then.